I sort of believed other life existed out there. I have found my container! Uh, good? But I never imagined discovering it myself. What about your ship? We can't just leave it here like this. Oh, well, for truth, the ship is not mine. I had to take it without permission to leave Zodia. Oh, you stole it? All the more reason to get it away from my house. You do not wish for the ship to be spotted. Of course not! Do you want to be cut open by scientists? Do not worry. I can fix this dilemma. One moment of time, please. Our ships comes with a built-in cloaking device. Of course, it is still here, but anyone passing by it will not notice. This will take some getting used to. Let's go over some rules. First rule, contribute. I don't plan on cleaning up after you like a child. If you're staying here, then do your part. Contribute. Second rule, obey. Well, obey sounds super bad. Maybe we'll call rule two, trust. Basically, if I tell you to do something, then trust me. Trust. Third and final rule. Uh, that one's to be determined, since I can't think of another rule. To be determined. I really hope you're listening. So, do Zodians like sleep? Oh yes, I even brought all the correct garments to sleep in. Ah, here it is, my sleepwear. That's what you sleep in? It looks like a latex swimsuit. Is that bad? Isn't it uncomfortable? Well, actually, we have an additional piece to add for warmth. No! Here's where rule number two comes in. You're not allowed to wear that. <gasps> Trust! Follow me. Ooh, this room looks a bit different than the previous one. Well, yeah? This is the bedroom, after all. Other than a few holes, this shirt's in good condition. Here, you can have it. Oh. Hmm, the bottom will probably need drawstrings. Oh? I was so distracted by all the alien stuff. I haven't really stopped to look at her. She's so small and dainty. But then you get to her thighs and... Damn, she's thick! She's like a cute little pear. Um... Earthling, 